Krishna everyone. Hope all of you are enjoying this blissful period in the month of Kartik, which also marks the holy occasion of Diwali, when uh, Sri Ram comes back to his kingdom of Ayodhya. Now, in this glorious month of Kartik, is especially in its light fortnight or Gaurapaksha, it heralds the the un, the oncoming of Haribodhini or Uthana Ekadashi which is also known as Papaharani Ekadashi or the Ekadashi which takes away all of one's sins. Narad Muni, who is one of the top Vaishnava devotees of Lord Vishnu, once inquired to his father, Lord Brahma, the chief engineer of the universe, as to the glories of this Ekadashi. Lord Brahma replied to Narad Muni that there was no better day in all the three worlds to fast than the Harubo Haribodhini Ekadashi. He explained to Narad Muni that Fasting on Haribodhini Ekadashi is far, far superior than going to a place of pilgrimage, offering charity, taking bath in the Ganga or any ocean or river. In fact, uh, this Ekadashi, as I said, is also known as Papaharani Ekadashi. Not only does it eradicate all of one's sin, but it awards all good fortune and ultimately gives one liberation from the, the, the clutches of repeated birth and death in this material world. On top of that, uh, if we are living in this world, one is compelled to lie, one is compelled to occasionally cheat and perform all kinds of sinful activities unknowingly or knowingly to, to, to a person. The observance of the Haribodhini Ekadashi eradicates sins equal to that of Mount Meru just by one single observance. In fact, if one were to fast completely on this day and stay awake through the night, one gets the benefits of a thousand Ashwamedh Yagyas and a hundred Rajasuya sacrifices. Not only that, but one also liberates 10,000 generations of an ancestors, current relatives and descendants, no matter how fallen or degraded they may be or how glorious they may be, at the end of their lives, even unknown to them, because of your observance of Haribodhini Ekadashi, they all ascend to the Vaikuntha abode of the Lord from which there is no coming back and living a life of eternal happiness and peace. The Haribodhini Ekadashi offers, awards all the glow, all the four pillars of life, namely Dharma, Artha, Kama and ultimately Moksha. It also marks the end of the Chaturma Sifas. Since it happens to fall in the month of Karthik, it is most dear to Lord Krishna. And the most glorious activity in the month of Karthik is Harikatha, or narrating the pastimes of Krishna and his myriad incarnations. Something else that is also very dear to Krishna in this month of Karthik, which is always dear to him, but especially even more dear to him, in the month of Karthik and in the month of Ekadashi, is Tulsi Puja. Just simply by seeing Tulsi Maharani, by touching her, by offering obeisances to her, by praying for her grace, by meditating on her, by narrating her pastimes, by planting her, by watering her leaves, in any of these nine ways, one can completely purify oneself. And as many roots and sub-roots are, are developed from the worship of Tulsi Maharani or looking after her, for thousands of more kalpas, one resides in the Vaikuntha planets. So what benefit is there in this world that cannot be achieved by a, um, just a single observance of Haribodhini Ekadashi? So I strongly, ex uh, strongly encourage all of you to do the same. And start off your Dwadashi or the day following Ekadashi by giving charity to Brahmanas and breaking your fast duly in respect of this Ekadashi. That's it for now, but we hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Haribodhani Ekadashi and New Year ahead. Hare Krishna.